The first thing I would do with this squad is if you are playing quick counter with this squad, which it looks like you are, I would definitely take a... So one thing we are doing new to the channel is going to be rating you guys squads. It's going to be a new series. We already have one episode up. This will be episode two. Short videos. I'm going to give you a couple of recommendations as well. So we will take a look at the first squad here. Let me just change this if I can. Yeah, so here we go, right? Road to Division 1 squad. So we've got Romanegi, Messi, Del Piero and Son, Valverde, Casemiro, Robertson, Dumfries, Demichelis. The first thing I would do with this squad is if you are playing quick counter with this squad, which it looks like you are, I would definitely take out Demichelis or Matip. I would not have the two of those in. Um, I think that that's going to be a problem if you're conceding a lot of goals. Because with quick counter, your players are going to push into DMF role. Um, I think that that could potentially be... I would probably get a target man in there as well if you're struggling. But if you're winning games and you've got to Division 1 with this squad, it's a pretty decent team. There's no doubt about it. Next up, we have another squad here. Now, this is... Listen, there's no real advice I can give to this squad because this is a meta squad. You know what I mean? You've got Donnarumma, you've got your back three, and you've got Rafael Leao, big time, or player of the week. You've got Argentina Messi, and you've got player of the week in Mbappe, Makalele and Matthaus, and then you've got Drogba and Adriano up front. So, I mean, I would definitely change out one of Drogba and Adriano. I would not play with two target men, two target men, and that's coming from someone like me who loves playing with Collar. So I would genuinely think that that is something that you need to change. I like Messi, Leao, and Mbappe, but I would probably switch Mbappe up front, and then I'd have a crosser on the right flank. That's what I would probably do with that. But genuinely, you're going to win most games with this squad if you are pretty good at the game. Um, we also have this one here. So this is an interesting kind of switch up on the... I would say it's a switch up on the meta because you're using Reynaldo um, or Reinildo as a left back. And obviously, you're also using Zhao Felix up front as your three man there. But I mean, I still do think that this is a very strong uh, team and a formation. And it is pretty much meta as well. You've got your DMF and your CMF. I'd probably switch out Pedri for Skolzi. I know some people love Skolzi, but I, for me, he doesn't do it for me. That's just for me. He doesn't do it for me. But I do still like this, uh, this squad. Felix, if you're shooting a lot, great. Benzema is a big dud for me. I cannot play with Benzema. I would definitely put Ronaldo in there or else I would put an outright target man like in Zaggy or somebody like that that can score or an impact player because you already have Mbappe and Felix that are going to be shooting and mobile. The Kunku spreading in. I do like that squad. And then last but not least, we will do this one from Zux7 um, who recorded this on his uh, potato. Uh, 32, not get 32 10. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, this is another meta team. I mean, you're playing your 4 3 3. A little bit of a change to the meta with Burkamp in there and Salah. Um, Mbappe and Rafael Leao up front. Salah is your third option as a right winger. Gavardiel, Rudiger, Delict as your three center backs. Meta, Davies, Tonali as your anchor man or your destroyer. Interchangeable, doesn't really make a difference. Pedri as your link up man. I would probably put a box to box in this squad, to be honest with you. And I would probably change one of Mbappe and Leao. I think that they do too similar of a role. But again, if you're winning games with this, um, that's all there is to it. I mean, people are going to win games with this squad no matter what. I do like Davies there. Some A lot of people don't use Davies. But the problem is with using Davies here and Pedri here is that you can't really swing balls in, even with Salah. So this is a shooting team. So if I'm playing against this squad, I'm not worried about a target man in the box. I'm not worried about pace with Burkamp. I'm probably going to be conceding a lot of goals from like sweatbacks, like kick back across the goals. So yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. We will keep this short and sweet. We'll just fit one more in, which is a three goalkeeper squad. So he's playing three goalkeepers. Marquinhos, Koundé and Donnarumma are all playing in goals. <laughs> how deep, how deep is your lines? Whoa. How deep is your love, man? This is a very, very, very deep quick counter team. So obviously you're playing quick counter with Marquinhos and Koundé and Rudiger. Um, but you're playing the Kunku and the Bruyne. Mbappe so it is kind of a switch up on the 3-5-2 which I think is the best formation in the game um I potentially would not have Marquinhos and Koundé that deep but maybe it's working for you I mean obviously it's extremely defensive you've got the English Rice and Bellingham the Belgian the Kevin De Bruyne again we see a lot of people using uh, Alfonso Davies Ronaldo and the Kunko up front I like that um Mbappe for me on the wing he doesn't work it man he doesn't work it for me on the wing 
If you're using Ronaldo, you need a crosser. Davies is one, that's fine, but you also need a bit of cover in the back if you're using Davies. You need a right back. So I would probably put a really good, solid um, right midfielder that can play a right back. If you're playing a sub-tactic, brilliant. If you're not, I would put that right back into the right uh, back position, play him as right mid, somebody like Lorente that can play right mid or else right back on the sub tactic. But it's a good squad. Um, so yeah. Um, that is a strange formation, man. I will say that is a strange formation. But let's see if it works, it works. But yeah, that is it for me, lads. I'll be back with another episode of this rate my squad. There's gonna be a lot of these coming over the next few days where I rate you guys squads um before eFootball 2024. And yeah, that's it for me. I will talk to you later.